That can be a time of emotional upset, can't it? But here's a boy who doesn't seem concerned. In fact, he doesn't look as though he could be upset by anything. His report card is getting better. He's got a B in history. But look, he is upset. Why? Why should anybody be upset about getting a better grade than he did before? Why you get off with that grade? I'm a brain. You're all a brain. Yes, even though he's shown some improvement, Howard is really upset about that report card. He isn't even going to take it home. Quite a few of you still have your report cards out. Will you please return them tomorrow? The following, please return your report cards as soon as possible. Ann McCarthy, Howard Patterson, and Thomas. Howard Patterson, your report card is still missing. Howard Patterson, did you bring your report card? Howard Patterson, please report to the office. Mr. Edmonds would like to see you. Come in. Oh, come on in, Howard. Howard, you've had your report card out for over two weeks. Will you please make it a point to have it signed and bring it in? I can't. I'm not going to take it home. It isn't fair. Your grades must have disappointed you quite a bit. Are they so bad? C's, but in history, a B. That's an improvement. <laughs> I worked for an A, and I should have gotten one. I see. Sit down, Howard. Howard, you can't expect other people to judge your work exactly as you judge it. This B is proof that you've been doing better in history. Why not accept it and work still harder next time? Oh, what's the use of trying? All you get is grades like that. Howard, there's a very familiar pattern of behavior there. Sometimes we expect great things. But things can't always work out the way we expect. And when we're severely disappointed, we become emotionally upset. Well, let me try to give you an example of this pattern of emotional upsets. But this happened just the other day in shop class. A boy, let's call him John, was working on a lamp, his first wood shop project. He worked long and hard at it. And he dreamed of the perfect, beautiful lamp it was going to be. Now, dreaming, together with realistic planning, can be very fruitful. But John's dream was not realistic. He expected perfection on his very first try. Naturally, he was disappointed. So disappointed that he suffered an emotional upset. He raged and stormed. But that's childish. Yes. It was an infantile reaction. And of course, you wouldn't react that way, would you? Oh, no, that's silly. But you might feel that way. Your emotional reaction is the important thing. Oh, but there's such a difference. It was so unreasonable of him to expect a perfect lamp. 
But I had every right to expect an A. Do you think it was reasonable of you to expect Miss Rogers to judge your work in the same way you did? You mean I shouldn't try for an A? No, that isn't what I mean. It's one thing to set high goals for yourself. It's quite another to be emotionally upset each time you miss your goal. Do you think it through, Howard? See if you can figure it out. And return the card to me when you've had it signed. Yes, sir. All right, Howard. Think about what Mr. Edmund said. Look around. It's none of your business. I only asked a friendly question. Well, don't. Now, what's upset her? She's been that way lately. Ever since the operetta tryouts. This was the big chance of the year for her. She wanted the leading role. She was sure she could get it. And in her own mind, she could see herself as the star of the show. But she was expecting too much. When she was offered a smaller part, she was disappointed. Expecting too much, disappointment, emotional upset, lasting for days afterward. Now look some more. There's Bill, daydreaming. That's another sign of emotional upset. You remember how it was about the class party? You told Bill if he wanted to date Alice, he'd have to ask a month ahead of time. But he just waited around until it was pretty late. He was so sure she'd wait for him. And being a popular girl, she already had a date. Expecting too much, disappointment, emotional upset. Well, Howard, do you see the pattern? It fits you, doesn't it? Oh, Mr. Edmonds, may I see you for a minute? Why, yes, Howard. Come on down to my office. I've been thinking, Mr. Edmonds. I think I understand. Sometimes you expect things that can't possibly happen. So you're sure to be disappointed. Mm-hmm. Sit down, Howard. So the thing to do is to figure out what's possible or reasonable. And then you aim high and you try for a lot. But you don't count on it. Good. You do understand, Howard. Only, even then you're going to be disappointed sometimes. Why, Mr. Edmonds, I'm still so upset about that grade that I haven't been able to study or do much of anything. If I go on like this, I won't even get C's next time. Well, at least you're beginning to have some insight into your problem. Well, thanks, but what can I do now? How do you handle disappointments when they come? Well, let's see. You play basketball, don't you? Well, yes, mostly from the bench. Then you have plenty of chances to watch the others in action. Think. This happens fairly often. The fellow with the ball is eager to try for a goal. He expects to get this too quick. He bottles him up. The fellows blow up, get mad. Some give up and stop trying to play. Some become all the more alert, eager. Then work at it until they make it. That's right. And I guess I've done all of those at different times. But it's plain which is most effective, isn't it? If your emotions are in balance, angry with yourself or with others, you don't withdraw, stifle your emotions. You don't go off in a daydream. No, you channel your emotional energy into a direct attack on your problem. Yes, I think I see. Thanks, Mr. Edmonds. Oh, Howard. Your report card, do you have it? No, sir. Not yet. Tomorrow, for sure. Better be sure, Howard. Well, Howard, 
What are you going to do about that report card? You've tried hiding, running away from it. You've tried blaming the teacher. Now are you going to attack it directly? Dad. My report card. I thought it was about time. Grade's not so good. Hmm. Not bad. A B. I thought you'd be disappointed. Oh, maybe. A little. I was hoping for an A. But you're improving. Maybe next time. I'll try. I'll really try. But we won't be too disappointed if I don't quite make it, will we? If you try hard, what more can anyone expect? Come in. What is it, Howard? My report card is ready, Mr. Edmonds. That's fine. I hope to do still better next time. Well, now, be careful. Oh, yes, Mr. Edmonds. I'm not expecting miracles, but I am working hard, and I'm hoping. I don't want any more emotional upsets if I can help it. Sounds good. Sounds as if you're learning to keep your emotions in balance. Emotions in balance. That's it. Thanks, Mr. Edmonds.